Have you ever wondered how a lake that vanished over a century ago could suddenly reappear, challenging everything we thought we knew about nature and human influence? Today, I'm going to take you on a journey through time, a journey that spans millions of years, from dramatic geological shifts to human intervention, and finally to an unexpected revival sparked by nature itself. Let's start by going back in time. Long before modern California became known for its sprawling farmland, the San Joaquin Valley was a vibrant and diverse landscape dominated by a massive body of water, Tulare Lake. For thousands of years, Tulare Lake was the largest lake west of the Mississippi River, a natural wonder that once covered hundreds of square miles and nurtured a rich ecosystem of wetlands, marshes, and diverse wildlife. Native Americans lived in harmony with the lake, fishing, hunting, and gathering around its fertile shores. The lake wasn't just a body of water, it was the lifeblood of a thriving environment. Geologically speaking, the story of Tulare Lake begins millions of years ago. Around 65 million years in the past, the Pacific Ocean intermittently flooded the area now known as the Central Valley. These periodic floods transformed the region into a bay that eventually became isolated from the ocean due to the movements of the coastal range along the San Andreas Fault. This process set the stage for the formation of a series of great lakes in the valley. One of these was Lake Corcoran, an enormous lake that once spanned nearly 19,000 square miles and played a crucial role in shaping the land and providing the nutrient-rich sediments that would later support fertile soils. Over time, as the climate shifted and the land uplifted, Lake Corcoran receded, giving rise to several smaller lakes, including Tular Lake. For centuries, Tular Lake was a constant presence in the landscape. It filled and drained with the seasons, fed by runoff from the Sierra Nevada, the transverse ranges, and other nearby mountains. The lake's waters nourished the land, creating a lush environment filled with wetlands and abundant plant and animal life. It was a natural marvel that provided sustenance to both wildlife and human populations. The very name Tulare comes from the tul grass, a robust native sedge that grew along the lake's margins and played a critical role in stabilizing the soil and supporting the local ecosystem. However, the course of history took a dramatic turn when European settlers arrived. As early as the mid-1800s, the promise of rich, arable land drove settlers to the San Joaquin Valley. They saw in Tulare Lake not a natural wonder, but a vast, untapped resource waiting to be transformed into productive farmland. Over the next several decades, the settlers began an aggressive campaign to drain the lake. They built canals, dams, and reservoirs to divert the water for irrigation. This massive engineering effort was driven by the belief that a steady supply of water for agriculture would lead to prosperity and growth. Unfortunately, this intervention came at a steep ecological price. In less than 50 years, the enormous Tular Lake began to shrink. The deliberate diversion of its water for irrigation cut off the lake's natural sources, causing its waters to recede and the lake to gradually disappear. By the late 1800s, Tulare Lake had been drastically reduced in size, and by 1895, it had vanished entirely. What was once a thriving ecosystem had been replaced by vast expanses of farmland and desert. The transformation was swift, an entire landscape reconfigured by human hands in a remarkably short span of time. The disappearance of Tulare Lake had profound consequences. The once fertile wetlands that had sustained a diverse range of species were lost, and the rich biodiversity of the region gave way to a monoculture focused on crops like almonds, pistachios, and tomatoes. The extensive network of natural waterways was replaced by a patchwork of irrigation channels, levees, and aquifers that were increasingly exploited to meet the demands of agriculture. As water was diverted for human use, the natural hydrological balance of the region was disrupted, leading to long-term environmental challenges. Fast forward to recent years, when California experienced a long period of severe drought, a drought that left the state parched and its water supplies strained. Then, almost as if nature had decided to make a dramatic comeback, an unprecedented winter of heavy snowfall and rainfall swept through the region. This winter, California saw a record-breaking snowpack that was more than twice the size of a typical year's accumulation. The result was nothing short of astounding. The Tulare Basin, where Tulare Lake once thrived, began 
to fill with water once again. By early 2023, after months of relentless precipitation and rapid snowmelt from the Sierra Nevada, water began to pool in the old lake bed. What had been a dry, abandoned landscape for over a century was now transforming before our eyes into a lake that spanned 30 square miles. And this was just the beginning. Experts predict that if the heavy precipitation continues, Talar Lake could expand to cover more than 200 square miles, an area that would dwarf many of California's existing reservoirs. To put this in perspective, Tular Lake at its fullest in the past reached sizes of up to 600 square miles, and in some instances, even 790 square miles, truly massive by any standard. The reappearance of Tulare Lake is not merely a natural curiosity, it's a dramatic reminder of the delicate balance between human activity and nature's resilience. The floodwaters have begun to break levees that were designed to protect farmlands from flooding, causing significant damage to homes, infrastructure, and crops. In Tulare County, hundreds of structures have been affected, and many local residents have been forced to evacuate as the water continues to rise. The flooding is expected to inflict billions of dollars in economic damage, not only by destroying farmland, but also by displacing thousands of people, many of whom work in the region's $2 billion agricultural industry. This unexpected revival of a long-gone lake raises critical questions about water management and environmental stewardship. The history of Tulare Lake is a cautionary tale about the long-term consequences of tampering with nature. For centuries, humans have altered the natural flow of water in California through irrigation and development. The over-extraction of groundwater, the construction of dams like Pine Flat Dam, and the widespread conversion of wetlands into farmland have all contributed to a landscape that is increasingly vulnerable to the extremes of nature. In many parts of the San Joaquin Valley, the land is now sinking at alarming rates due to the overuse of groundwater, and the once robust aquifers have been compromised. The modern flooding in the Tulare Basin is a direct consequence of these historical actions. With the natural drainage systems long disrupted, there is little capacity to manage the sudden influx of water. The engineered systems in place, pumps, evaporation ponds, and levees, are struggling to cope with the volume of water produced by the record snowpack and heavy winter rains. And as the climate continues to change, the intensity and frequency of such extreme weather events are likely to increase, further stressing the already fragile balance between human development and natural processes. It is clear that the return of Tulare Lake is more than just an isolated event. It is a symbol of nature's unpredictable power and a wake-up call about the consequences of environmental mismanagement. The lake's reappearance has ignited debates among scientists, environmentalists, and policymakers about the best ways to manage water resources in an era of climate uncertainty. Some argue that efforts should be made to restore natural water systems and reintroduce more sustainable agricultural practices, while others emphasize the need for improved infrastructure to mitigate flooding and protect the livelihoods of local communities. As we watch this natural phenomenon unfold, it's important to recognize that the story of Talare Lake is not just about water and land, it's about the intersection of human history and the natural world. The lake's dramatic rise is a reminder that even after centuries of absence, nature has a way of reasserting itself, sometimes in ways that force us to reconsider our place within the environment. The lessons of Tulare Lake are as relevant today as they were in the past. We must learn to live in balance with nature, respecting its power and its ability to shape our world world in ways that we cannot always control. This extraordinary event also poses a significant challenge for the local communities that have developed over the last 150 years. The region, once home to a natural lake, is now dominated by intensive agriculture, urban sprawl, and a web of irrigation channels that have long replaced the natural landscape. The return of Tular Lake is disrupting this delicate balance, threatening not only the economic stability of the area, but also the way of life that has defined it for generations. Farmers, residents, and local authorities are now faced with the daunting task of adapting to a rapidly changing environment, one where water, once considered an almost limitless resource, has become a powerful force of both creation and destruction. Looking ahead, the future of Tular Lake remains uncertain. While some may see the re-emerging lake as a potential boon for restoring lost ecosystems, others fear the economic and social costs come with widespread 
flooding and environmental disruption. What is certain, however, is that the resurgence of Tulare Lake forces us to confront the long-term impacts of our past actions. It challenges us to rethink our approach to water management, agricultural practices, and environmental conservation. As we move forward, it is imperative that we learn from the mistakes of the past and work together to create a more sustainable future, one where the natural world is given the respect and space it needs to thrive. Thank you for joining me on this deep dive into the remarkable story of Tulare Lake, a story of nature's resilience, human ambition, and the unexpected consequences of our actions. If you found this video enlightening, please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us continue to explore these fascinating stories and brings more awareness to the critical issues facing our world today. Our world today.